Hello, my name is Dr. Alan Mishra, and this educational video lecture will focus on tendonitis treatment options. Please visit us at TotalTendon.com for more information. In this lecture, we will define tendonitis and its cousins, tendinosis and tendinopathy, discuss signs and symptoms, as well as non-operative, biologic, and operative treatment options. You may join the Total Tendon Network at TotalTendon.ning.com to join in further forums and discussions on this topic. Tendonitis is a very common problem. It's a classic term used for all tendon-related pain. It is, however, a misnomer, as there is no true inflammation in most cases. Specifically, tendonitis may be associated with acute overuse, such as running in the hills or activity overload. Chronically, a tendon can degenerate, and this is known medically as tendinosis. A tendon may also rupture or tear, as is seen in this Achilles tendon tear. The history and physical examination of somebody with Tendinitis involves pain around the area, precipitated by an increase in activity. The pain then progresses from a dull ache during strenuous activity to pain with any activity, and then pain at night or even at rest. On the physical examination, there's tenderness and swelling over the affected area, and you can see this Achilles tendon is swollen. There's pain with resisted motion. An MRI or ultrasound may be used to help confirm the extent of the problem. And this is an ultrasound of a patient with an Achilles tendonitis. Treatment options for tendon healing include relative but not complete rest, controlled stretching, which improves fiber alignment and results in higher tensile strength so the tendon can withstand a greater load. You want to correct any training or equipment issues such as the wrong grip size or too tight gripping with tennis or golf. Physical therapy has been shown to be effective if you use an eccentric strengthening program twice a day, seven days a week, and a patellar tendonitis study was used for effectively. Physical therapy also may use icing, bracing, iontophoresis, massage, grasp, and active release techniques to promote repair and decrease adhesions. Anti-inflammatory medications are very commonly prescribed, but the overall eff efficacy is controversial. Cortisone injections, especially for tennis elbow, are very common. And they do help early on, but symptoms tend to recur and long-term results must be considered equivocal. Radiofrequency cublation, prolotherapy, nitroglycerin patches, and even Botox have also been tried with varying um, efficacy as well. Emerging treatment options include uh, extracorporeal shockwave, and you can discuss more about this at the Total Tendon Network at totaltendon.ning.com. Emerging biologic treatment options include platelet-rich plasma, which has been shown to be effective in a cohort published in the American Journal of Sports Medicine, where there was significant lasting reduction in visual analog pain scores at an average follow-up of over two years with no complications. And you can see this pain score chart here, again, published in American Journal of Sports Medicine. This, is, this study has been replicated by Dr. Gosen in Europe, where he did a 100-patient prospective randomized trial, the same methods and devices as the initial pilot study by Dr. Mishra, where PRP beat cortisone in terms of pain improvement and functional recovery. Operative strategies for tendonitis and tendinopathy include uh, only pursuing that if you've failed a well-designed conservative program. Options are 80 to 90% successful, not 100% and they include arthroscopic or open excision of degenerated tissue, repair and reattachment of the tendon to bone for full thickness tears, such as a rotator cuff or Achilles tendon tear, or for significant partial thickness tears. In summary, tendonitis or tendinopathy is a very common problem. Issues range from acute tendonitis to chronic tendon tearing. Many non-operative treatments have been advocated. Biologic treatments are emerging, and surgical treatment has, uh, can be effective, but its outcome is variable. Thank you for your attention, and please visit us at TotalTendon.com for further information or join the Total Tendon Network at TotalTendon.ning.com. Thank you very much.